Good afternoon, guys. <clears throat> Hope everyone is enjoying the weekend. Um, I saw a uh, a YouTuber, a fellow XJW video a few days ago, uh, and it really got to me. It really got really really uh, touched me. Uh, I believe his name is Bobby. Um, I think his broadcast his his YouTube channel is called um, the Real Truth. Or at least I think that is because on his shirts, every video I see him him wearing shirts will say the real truth. But um, first thing, Bobby is a uh, XJW in his I believe fifties, mid fifties, and um, he put up posted a video a few days ago saying how uh, he 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 was a, a really good singer back in his day, and he could have made a career out of it, right? He could have had a profession just singing. But instead, he chose the um, to be a part of the organization, and he um, he put all his hopes and dreams aside of being a singer. He put that aside to be a part of this organization, and then he woke up years later, and now he's in his fifties with uh, regrets. And if you're watching this, Bobby, um, I just want to let you know it's not too late. You might be in your fifties. Yeah, you you may not have a profession singing it. That might be out the window, but you can still sing your heart out. Don't let Watchtower steal your dreams entirely. You're still alive. You're still breathing. Um, there's still hope out there. There's still, there's, there's still, like I said, there's still hope. There's still hope. So don't feel like Watchtower has taken everything because they haven't. You can still sing. But um, there's countless of stories where people have, um, they've given their all to this organization, literally all. The money, the time, the energy, everything. And they woken up later on and realized that this ain't it. This organization is not it. <clears throat> um, I read an article just this morning. Just this morning, I read an article, right? of a caregiver. Um, she was taking care of people that were about to um, pass away from uh, cancer, right? When they had, I think, they had about three months to live, that's when she would come in and, you know, uh, go to people's homes and take care of them. And she would talk to them as well, right? And this person said that 80% of the people she spoke to, right, the majority of people she spoke to, when she asked them, said, hey, do you have any regrets? The majority of people said that they wish that they learned to uh, live their life for themselves and not for others. And when I read that, I was like, oh, shoot, that sounds so familiar. That sounds so familiar because that is how it is when you wake up from the witness world, right? Especially at, as an, um, at an older age. That is exactly how it is. A lot of people have regrets. And my heart goes out to anyone who's who's in a waking up process in their 50s and beyond. Especially if you were born in, right? If you're waking up in your 50s and beyond and the organization is all that you've known and you've pretty much sacrificed everything. And you have to think, how many people could have been actors they could have been athletes playing basketball, hockey, baseball. They could have had really good careers. But they put all that aside to be a part of this organization. And all this time, they're hearing paradise is right around the corner. Can you imagine you putting away your, you, you, you having really good talents, really good skills. And you put that aside to serve this man-made organization. And you really believe that paradise is right around the corner. You believe it. And then you find out years later that it was all a lie, all a hoax. We, we all got duped. I would be devastated. Now, I, I'm fortunate. I'm blessed. I'm thankful that I've woken up in my mid-30s, right? I'm in my mid-30s. I'm thankful that I've woken up. But um, <clears throat> there are people out there waking up. I heard stories, people waking up in their 70s and 80s. 
can you can you imagine that being a born and witness and you you serve in this organization the majority of your life that you've woken up in your elderly ages when in you you're waking up as an elderly person right in the seventies and eighties like this when I, when I, when I say that this organization it it's it's um beyond corrupt it's beyond that because it, they don't care the the organization the governing body leaders they don't care about people's lives that's that's for damn sure and um as i've always said in my past videos there is no time machine so once you woken up once you wake up at an old age an older age right your 60s, 70s, and 80s, once you're waking up, yeah, you still can live your life. There's still life left to live. But you, the, majority of life, the majority of your life was stolen. And at this time, time is one thing you can never get back. That's why I stress people to, that's why I stress for people to do their research. And it's better for you to do your research and wake up now in your prime than for you to wake up later on. But it doesn't matter if you wake up now or later, right? It doesn't matter if you wake up in your 20s or in your 70s. The point is for you to wake up, right? But you want to be able to enjoy your life to the fullest while you're here. You want to be able to become your true authentic self in your prime while you're young. Uh, so there's a couple that uh, they've been... On quite a few interviews, I forgot their names, but they was at the protest. They spoke at the protest. They, um, like I said, the last few weeks I've seen them on in a few different interviews with people. Right, uh, I believe they're they they both were Catholics, and if I'm not mistaken, they both were Catholics. Then they converted to the to the uh, Jehovah's Witness religion in their thirties. Right, they're now in their seventies, and they woken up recently. I think a few years ago they woken up, um, but they're in their seventies now. They woke up in their seventies. Their family, their kids are still in it, and they're they're still being shunned by their their kids. But this couple is in their seventies. They just woken up together, and they're still. I'm I'm thankful that when I hear their interviews, they're still hopeful. They know they woken up, you know, later on in life. But like I said before, the point is to wake up. It don't matter if you wake up in your twenties, your sixties, or seventies, right? The point is to wake up from this organization. And to live your life to the fullest. To live your life for you. Not for not slaving for a man-made organization. For you. For you, right? So, um, I, I'm hearing a lot of stories of people waking up when they're older. And it pains me because I'm putting myself in their shoes, right? And if I was a devout, indoctrinated witness for the longest, for the majority of my life... I believe in this. I believe in a paradise earth, right? For the majority of my life. And then I've woken up in my 50s, 60s, and 70s. I would be beyond devastated. Because time is the one thing we cannot get back. We can't get back time. And um, going back to Bobby's video... Uh, I, I love the comments I was reading. The comments on that, uh, The Real Truth. I believe his YouTube, his page is called uh, The Real Truth, right? But his name is Bobby. And the comments, the support from the XJW community was phenomenal. Phenomenal. And uh, I, I said this to another XJW uh, a few days ago. But the love that you get from the, X, you always went, the XJW community surpasses the love from Jehovah's Witnesses by far. And the irony is that the Witnesses are supposed to be a loving organization, right? They're supposed to be loving people. But I received more love from the XJW community in the last several months compared to 30 plus years where I was inactive for quite some time. But all those years in the organization meant nothing compared to the love that I got from the XJW community in the last several months. But um, the corruption and all this nonsense that's going on uh, in the organization, like it's like, wow. 
they really are they really are out here destroying people's lives. One way or another, right? Families are either split up from this organization. <clears throat> Families are, are either split up or people are investing all their time, energy, donating money. They're giving everything to this organization and then they are waking up later on. Realizing that their life, their entire life was a lie. That is beyond devastating. You can't even put a word to it. You can't put a word to it. But um, since I've woken up, like I said in my last few videos, like my entire outlook, my entire perspective has, has changed. Because now I know that one day I will die. I will die. And that is why I'm spending the rest of my life learning who I am, becoming a, a better version, becoming my true authentic self. It's not going to happen overnight. And for those of you waking up, take note. Those of you that are finding yourselves right now, right? And there's a lot of people, we, we don't know who we are without the watchtower. If the, if the watchtower was all you ever known, if you now done your research and you're waking up and you say, oh shit, okay, this is not the truth. Um, now I have to discover who I really am outside of Watchtower. And that is a scary awakening. It's scary, but it's also good at the same time, right? Because now, unlike a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses, a lot of them, they're never going to wake up, unfortunately. A lot of, a lot of them are going to die never knowing who they truly are, what they truly like. They never, they're they going to die not ever having real true friends because all their friends are conditional fake friends in an organization. So if you're waking up in your 60s or 70s, that is better than someone who's always going to only know the, know the Jehovah's Witness organization. Because in your 60s and 70s, when you wake up, you can still become your true authentic person. You can still try, you can still find true love. You can still find real people beyond the watchtower if you're waking up in your 60s and 70s. But if you are, but if you born, if you born, live, and die a witness your entire life, that person is never gonna know what real is. They're never gonna they're never gonna know what, what real love is. Never. So for those of you that are waking up late watching this video, you're still alive. There's still hope. Yeah, the Watchtower, they've taken so much from us, right? They've taken so much from you guys. But if you're still breathing, you still got life to live. You can still travel. You can still meet new people, make new friends, have real genuine connections. Life is not over. It's just the beginning. Just the beginning. And um, once again, my heart goes out to everybody who has uh, uh, who has been affected by this organization. One way or another, we all have. We all have. And I just want people to know, especially especially the older ones, there is still hope. There's still, there is still life at the watchtower. Side over to the fat lady sings. Until you're in that coffin or cremated. Until you expire, you leave this earth, there is still life. There is still hope. As long as your heart is breathing, breathing beating, sorry. As, lo as long as your heart is beating, don't give up. Don't let, don't let the watchtower win. When you give up on life, when you give up on your hopes and your dreams, the watchtower wins. Prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. I love you guys, and uh, it's horrible what this organization has done to its people. It's horrible. And I hope, I hope and pray that the majority, if not all, witnesses wake up one day. I hope and pray for that to happen. I know that's wishful thinking, but um, anything is possible, right? All right, guys. I uh, love you. And I will see you guys on the next video.